I remember not having social acceptance in this, this guy using um, the N-word, N-I-G-E-R, he called me that. I was different, I was the only person of color in a generally all-white school. I remember sharpening a pencil, but putting the eraser into the sharpener and making kids laugh. And loving the feeling of making other people laugh because it made me feel special. I'd run for student council president, which is pretty meaningless if you think about it. I think I did it because if I were running and it was a vote, it actually told me whether or not I was loved. We went to Salt Lake City to visit my cousins and laying on the table was this resume, like a CV. I'd never seen anything like that, but it's like, oh my God, it's someone's life on one piece of paper. And it was like, it was another awakening. And what I realized is that you have to have good grades, activities after school, you have to like do these things. And so literally I began my ninth grade with the end in mind. And so I went from being like a B student in junior high being really goofy like doing ridiculous things to gain attention and love but i remember my freshman year going to a seminar on um, population studies I remember being so excited about studying something that mattered i did take two months and i traveled and i went to india again to go to a village that my grandfather lives in a farming village and study microcredit because that was really the thing in my heart, was just like India, microcredit, poverty, like those things always, no matter what, no matter like, just like that just felt real. And then my friend from college, he was one of the co-founders of PayPal. He said, come join, you know, let's work together. And so I moved back to Palo Alto. And PayPal was extraordinary because we're putting something into the world. And I mean, gosh, I guess that's a form of approval, you know, or being loved. I'd been interested in this, just a combination of PayPal and microcredit. That was the idea. And I was obsessed with that idea. And I realized ultimately it was too hard to do it within PayPal because I didn't want to do it to make money for PayPal. I wanted to do it to help people who are paying too much money when they were borrowing money from other people. And then I felt I lost control of the situation and, and then I had to leave. Um, when we started Kiva in 2005, I really believed that Kiva was the right way to do it. And I felt like by PayPal rejecting that idea that Kiva was going to die. So to have so much division in the beginning was really just sad in me. And uh, I felt not believed in. And that really hurt a lot. Uh, I mean, I wanted to feel special. That's, that's the brass ring. And, and then I wanted to be CEO. I wanted to be that person. And when my board chair said, we're not gonna be able to go with you, I was sad, I was, I was devastated. I went from feeling special about having helped nurture Kiva and bringing it to life to like feeling very worthless. And that's when you know, I applied to the Wellbeing Project. I was angry. I was angry, and part of the anger came from this notion of me feeling like I'd given so much of myself. I think the Wellbeing Project is this like, to be able to name things like special worthless, special worthless, oh, ordinariness, like something simple like that, or to notice, choose, trust. The notion of an aloha chair, to be able to sit outside and maybe kind of de-identify from the narrative that's going, like all of these are just pretty foundational tools that the American public education system and you know I, I, I didn't have that I didn't have access to those tools I think there's more playfulness for me I'm just kind of like willing to go with things a little more there's probably in my future a more focused version of me where I'm more productive and channeled channeling my activism again uh, channeling that energy but for now I'm experiencing kind of um, a rebalancing of life. 
um, towards family, towards health, towards connection with others. And I'm like, I haven't figured it out, but I'm like, I feel like I'm going down some kind of path.